and you see always lady, always you are around there, you're facing them. The piano with my say, kusu, kusu. A single lady who, who doesn't smile because you are What's smart. up, whitey fam? <laughs> Welcome back to another educative and interesting video. To my old subscribers, thank you so much for always tuning in to watch my videos. If you are new on this channel, you are highly welcome. Please, if this is your first time seeing this face, my name is Abna Boatema. I'm a Ghanaian-based YouTuber and a nurse. Yes, so today I'm so happy because this is my first collaboration video. And it is not with a Ghanaian YouTuber. I will be surprised. It is with a nigerian youtuber a popular nigerian youtuber you you guys should know her lily pope lily was my in-law <laughs> so lily pope deemed it fit to collaborate with me i was there and i i saw her video the way she mentioned my name god i i was even confused i was wondering is it me she she mentioned she was like abu <laughs> my love you are funny it's abna it's abna i hope you don't matter my name this time <laughs> so she had a 10k appreciation video and in that video she mentioned some set of people who she wants to collaborate with she wanted to appreciate all her old subscribers those she started with and you guys know me when I follow you, I follow you. <laughs> so I saw Lily's comment in one video I watched, and something pushed me to her her channel. So I clicked on her her picture, and I went straight to her channel. At that time, she was at I think three hundred and something subscribers, but her content was very good. She had great content. At that time too, I wasn't in YouTube. I wasn't doing YouTube like how I'm doing it now. I hadn't started my channel, but I was always on YouTube watching people's videos and those stuff. So when I saw her her channel, I said, "Wow, this lady, this lady will go far." So I started following her. I watch all her previous videos. When I subscribe to your channel, I make sure I follow you through and through. So I watched all her videos and I made sure to leave genuine comments for her to push her, telling her to go, to move and move. And now the Lord has made it for her. She's at 11k plus, almost at 12k now. Yes, yes, I think she's she's at 12k now. And the Lord is blessing her. So she decided to bless me as well. She said she would collaborate with me. Who am I to say no to such an offer? I can't reject such an offer. So please, this is a collaboration video. My very first collaboration video with lily pope tv hello beauties <laughs> that's her slogan yes so that's her slogan we are her beauties so without wasting much time let's dive into the video <laughs> Welcome back, my people. So, as you can tell from the topic, I want us to talk about what single ladies should do while waiting on the Lord for a husband. To my old subscribers, you all know I'm a single lady. I'm unmarried. Lily is a married woman with a daughter. Yes, with a daughter. And she lives in Nigeria, Oka to be precise. So, we decided to make this collaboration video about single, single ladies. So she will make a video about what single ladies should not do while waiting on the Lord for a husband. And I am making this one on what sh single ladies should do while waiting on the Lord for a husband. So my first point, my first point will be, as a single lady, always put it in your mind, have it at the back of your mind that singleness is not sinfulness. To be single, to be single doesn't mean you are a sinner. No, it's not like that. That's what most people think of single ladies. If you are a single lady, it doesn't mean you are a sinner. So singleness is not sinfulness. So as a single, 
I want to share with you things you should do while waiting on the Lord for your life partner or your missing ring. Number one, build your self-esteem. Build your self-esteem. You tell yourself, tell yourself that I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am intelligent. You see, do not, don't, don't bring yourself down. Always build your self-esteem. Make sure you say good, positive things about your life, about yourself. You understand me? Building your self-esteem as a single lady is very important. If you don't feel good about yourself, you can never make someone feel good about themselves. So if you are not feeling good about yourself, how would you get married and bring that positivity into your husband's life? So as a single lady, you make sure you have to build your self-esteem. That is my first point. Secondly, always make sure you are surrounded by positivity. When I say positivity, you can, as a single lady, join positive groups. Yes, join positive groups. For instance, you can join choir. Involve yourself in things of the Lord. So you see, the an idle mind is the devil's workshop. If you are a single lady and you, you are idle, you are always in the room doing nothing. You see, when you are there, the devil brings you a job to do. The devil will always pick bad things into your mind. Do this, do this, go, go to this place, do that. You see, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So always surround yourself with, with positive people. That's what I do. That's what I do. And have fun. Have fun. You see, go to the beach. You can go alone. You can't you don't say you are you are single, so you can't have fun alone. No, you can have fun all by yourself. Who said a single lady can't go to the beach alone? Who said a single lady can't go to the movies? Me, when I'm when I get back from work, you all know I'm a nurse. When I get back from work, I'm so tired. But sometimes I just play the music in my room and dance. You know I love dancing. I can dance. I sometimes go to the beach alone. To relax and buy some children, some chicken, you know. Charlie, have fun, have fun on your own. Make sure you, you are happy inwardly. You see, if you are a single lady and you are a sadist, you, you transfer the sadness onto the next person around you. And you see, always lady, always you are around there, you are your face around. The piano with my say, kusu, kusu. A single lady who, who doesn't smile because you are sad. So always make sure you are happy. The third point is that as a single lady, have something tangible doing. Have something tangible doing. For instance, a handiwork. You can learn a vocational skill or educate yourself, improve upon yourself. You know, go to school if you want to. You can go to school, further your degree. You can also learn a trade. You know, nowadays, huh, learning a trade is now lucrative. Don't don't be there relying on someone no if you are waiting for a ma your husband a future husband make sure you are building your 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 income your source of income make sure you have something tangible doing if you learn the trade you, you, are, you are a hairstylist you are a seamstress you know you have something tangible doing or you work work make sure you are not idle that's what i mean because no man wants to marry a lazy woman no man wants to marry a lazy woman. Trust me. I, I'm, I, I, I can testify to that because nowadays, any man who approaches a lady will ask. The first thing the person asks is your name. The second thing that follows is what job do you do? What is your source of income? So you understand what I mean. All men want women who are doing something. Not Most men want uh, independent women. You understand me? Yes. So have a source of income. Have a source of income as a single lady while waiting for your future husband or partner make sure you are built financially strongly I can probably say that uh, when God opens the door for me for my husband to come I won't put all my burdens on that man because God has blessed me with a job the good job so I can support any man who comes my way by the glory of God so as a single lady, that is what you have to do. The last point I will bring is, as a single lady, make God first in everything you do. Acknowledge God in everything you do. Do not, do not leave God outside your, your, your life. Oh. Let God be a factor, a factor in your life. Anything you do, acknowledge him. If a suitor comes your way, make sure you pray about him. There's a story... I have to share on this. It's a story about 
how I got dumped just two months to my wedding. Yes, it will soon come. I've made a video about my dating disasters, but this particular story I will share with you, you guys, so you will know what I am talking about. You see, when you make God the factor in everything you do, He saves you from all kinds of situations, all kinds of deadly and evil situations. It's not every man that comes into your life that is your husband. No. Some are prospective men, some are good men, some are, you know, they have their good jobs, they are ready for marriage, but that man is not your husband. Spiritually, you guys don't click. You can marry someone today, and at the end, you can you will tell that you are suffering inwardly, spiritually too. So always put God first in everything you do as a single lady waiting for your husband. I hope this video is helpful to you you people so please guys i don't want this video to be too long i don't want it to be too long i'll stop here for now and head over to lily poop's channel to see what she also said about what single ladies shouldn't do while waiting on the lord for their husbands i hope this video is helpful to you please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and let's grow together this channel is full of love positivity good vibes you can scroll through my channel you see i have a lot of educative videos health related videos cooking vlogs dance videos this isn't a boring channel at all feel at home on this channel thank you so much lily pope for having me for choosing me and for acknowledging me God bless you and your lovely husband, Oga Pope, and my daughter-in-law, Kamsi. <laughs> Thank you once again. I hope I see you all in my next video. Bye!